Hey guys, welcome to Bloodborne. Um, not too much here, we're just going to have a little look, uh, see where we're going to go from here. I've got a few characters, uh, we're going to go with uh, Lilim for a little while. Perhaps I'll show you my other ones, not, maybe on and off. Now I've completely finished this game from top to bottom, I've done everything in the game, I've even got the platinum achievement uh, for this. Now, it is one of my loves. Uh, currently not doing too well with this character though. <laughs> but uh, just a little bit of gameplay. I know it's old and dated, but it is one of my favorites. And I'd feel pretty bad if it wasn't on my channel at least once. Even if it is in the early stages of Birth. Uh, we could at least um, give it a try. So this is my... Uh, I don't really know what I was going with here. I was using the, um... So I'm currently using the Holy Moonlight Sword uh, with the Tantras, and it, it's basically a big arcane build, um, but focuses mostly along this weapon. Now, I didn't want an arcane build where I was using just the arcane arts and nothing else, um, because it then gives me quite a bit to struggle with in the beginning of what weapons to choose and what to go from. Um, what is this? Oh, this is the Haze Extractor. No, oh, I don't have this on my main character. <laughs> I remember now. Oh, do we have anything better to go on here? Just look for blue. Terrible way to do it, but just look for blue. All blue. That's better. Look for blue. Nope, oh. Look for blue. There we go. Is there a bit of blue? Nope. Seventy-seven. Pick a blue. Yeah. I don't have any more cold, damp ones. Very well, we'll continue on. Uh, we can fight German, I guess. I mean, it's not going to go too well. This isn't exactly the uh, best build for it, but we can go ahead and give it a go. Uh, let's see if we can summon anyone in. Oh, we can't even summon. Oh, of course, because we haven't even done it yet. I don't feel like I missed the opportunity to get the... Uh, the rest of the umbilical cords here. Uh, I only managed to get two. Uh, I completely screwed up the other two opportunities. It is actually a shame. So, uh... Good hack now. You will you from so I think I'm gonna just submit my life and new game plus it up. I, will I think. Fear. Yeah, we'll go with it this way. At least then it makes a for a much better series this way. Uh, because it means we can actually start the adventures of Lilum. Um, it, this is again one of my most favorite games, so this goes without saying that I'm, I'm incredibly pleased to be playing this. Uh, even if I have done everything it's just something I like to go back to every now and again. Of course, I do play other things other than Soulsborne games, okay. um, which there'll be a, a little bit on the channel. Assassin's Clinic. Alright. Let's begin. I 
don't even have hardly any emotes. Oh goodness. I think I might be a little overpowered. Yeah, well, not really. 77 is not too bad. Increase our arcane quite a bit more. And the skill. Right. Let's begin in Yarnum. This game has a beautiful beautiful lore, and an absolutely amazing dynamic and feel to it. Uh, really, really changes the, uh, the feel from Dark Souls, and it, it really shouldn't ever be, I mean, it, it, it feels like a Souls game, of course, because it's, it's based on the same sort of mechanics, but when you actually strip it down to it, it's nothing like it whatsoever, it's, 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 it's a completely different game. Um, just I suppose built with the same software, I would imagine, but it's it's beautiful. It's such an amazing game, and as much as I would love them to warrant a sequel, I would also say no. There's a lot of this game that is also unanswered, and a lot of it that, you know, I'd like to know more about. But you can only speculate, and with most of these games, you can only speculate about these things, and that's what's the beauty about it. This one. So many damn pebbles. There's pebbles everywhere. clunky than a uh, Dark Souls in the fact that it, it just feels very uh, a lot more fluid in the movement. Then again this is a newer game. It's not new anymore but like compared to like Dark Souls 2 Scholar of Person and Dark Souls 3 is a lot more fluid as well. It improved on this a great deal. Almost forgot. That was a bit of overkill. sees me after all of this if I'm still not the wiser. Well it's not my fault. Ooh. 
Getting a bit of overkill, but... Every one of these uh, charge attacks uses one of my Quicksilver bullets. Uh, so, hence the reason why they're a little bit over 20. Uh, it just helps with this, and also all of my uh, arcane arts do the same. Well, they don't all use one. Uh, some use a lot more than that. Uh, this uses three, one, one, this uses seven. That one's a healing item. Uh, it's, they, they vary. Guess going. You can move. Ooh. Actually, pretty lucky to catch. Oh, no, 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 no. Pretty lucky to catch that. Actually, did I pick up the torch on my first way through? I did. I think we should go straight for Gascoigne. I think that might be actually beneficial. I shouldn't have come this way. These werewolves are always a, a bit of a pain. I got through that one. I feel like my arcane build is struggling with that. I have such a weak pistol, whereas my main build I use Evelyn and Takage, and it is amazing for visuals. It just decimates everything it touches, but I think I'm in new game plus nine for that. Uh, so we're going to leave the Cleric Beast uh, for this time. We'll come back to him eventually. This is not the best boss to handle right now. Just gonna quickly open all these doors and then we're gonna rush to guess going. It's gonna bypass everything and go straight for it. Don't try it, please. Thank you. Oh, 48,000. Not too bad, I probably should use that to level up, but that uh, will be reckless. Oh. Did not expect him to run that way. safe places and I really don't want you to get damage. Ooh. 
Mm, right now, it'll probably be easy to go this way. Uh, should we get the music box? Uh, we'll leave it. I really like doing that girl's storyline. It's, it's awful. I watch the uh, YouTubers Prepare to Cry series, and it's absolutely amazing, by the way. But he explains that, you know, if you don't do the, the quest, the little girl is actually sitting there with her sister, and then none of them die. That's quite nice, and then perhaps they'll wait for the morning to come round. It's just terrible that you try to send her to Odin Chapel and she ends up passing. No, two coming down this way. Oh, there it comes. <coughs> Gotta take this time. Oh, hello. Just a little. I'm gonna leave you guys and trust that you don't follow me. Right, guess go in. Let's begin. <clears throat> Remember the first time I went in this battle, I was so confident in my ability. Like, oh, I've played Souls games before. It'll be okay. Not the second phase. It destroyed me every time. Beasts all over the shop. You'll be one of them. Soon. as well as I hoped. Oh god. Yeah, this is not gonna go as well as I hoped. Oh don't get stuck. There's no fun when you get stuck. Come on out, I'm giving you a chance to get out. Come on, come on, come on, come on. <laughs> I didn't even open the lift. Ah, oh, damn. Ah, oh, man. Absolute garbage. In any case, I'm gonna leave this one here. I'll uh, pick it back up, see what you guys think. <laughs> My terrible skills. I promise I'm good at this game. I'm just not used to this build yet. Um, so we'll, uh... 
we'll pick it back up from then. Again, thank you guys so much for watching, and see you guys in the next one.